We want to begin tonight at six with some big updates that we got this afternoon from Governor Andrew Cuomo. But while changes are being made, the governor still says Western New York is one of the higher regions for new COVID-19 infections. Good evening. I'm Mary Alice Demler. Scott has the night off. Now, the governor finally released data from contact tracing, which sheds light on the sources of COVID spread. Our Dave McKinley reports this also provides a reprieve for some, but not all businesses currently located in an orange zone. It's data we've been asking to see for a while to determine if certain businesses ordered restricted or closed amid rising case numbers pose any more of a threat of spread than others allowed to stay open. We've always been following the data. Yeah, well, the data bears out what the owners of hair salons and gyms in particular have long argued, that there has been almost no spread of COVID that can be linked to their establishments. And so the governor says he'll now allow those in orange zones to reopen, but under rules that are stricter than what they had when he ordered them closed last month. They're at 33 percent now. Capacity will go to 25 percent. Uh, they do biweekly testing. It would be weekly testing, but they can operate in an orange zone. Despite data that shows hardly any spread can be traced to restaurants and bars either, they will get no reprieve from the rules they currently have to abide by. So where is the spread coming from? 74% of the new cases are coming from household gatherings, living room spread which is worrisome to state officials who note the holiday season will likely bring more gatherings, mostly indoors with the colder weather and all, and it's the thing they can least control. After home gatherings, hospitals and doctor's offices accounted for the next largest source of spread at 8% and colleges and universities, which account for about 2%. He also noted local schools have shown to pose almost no threat of spread. Despite this, the Buffalo Public Schools announced yesterday they wouldn't have their kids back until February. But unless you have data that says the schools are at a problematic infection rate, the school should be open. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.